Hello and welcome to a very special I needed something to put up because I got hit on um, another thing and wasn't able to get any content out. So here we are talking about Hive Storm. Hey, hey, are you ready for another edition of a Games Workshop game that's going to have another edition out before you even really realize it? Where in some cases actually get the box all the way put together and painted and actually do a game in it? Yeah, cool. That's so awesome. I'm so glad they're putting out another edition that I don't I don't know does does anyone really feel like this needed a new, another edition for like a year or two even to be generous? Maybe it's just me. I uh ooh, uh so Let's talk a little bit about this, and then I'm going to bring on uh, my brother because he collects the uh, Tempestus, or the Scions, if you prefer. And uh, I want to get his remarks on it, and then I'll cover the uh, the squibbly dudes uh, on my own. But uh, first off, i got to say this. I like the style of the cover for this box. It's, it's nice use. They're using the traditional market. Uh, way of putting orange in something because orange always gets eyes and a darker color I like the uh, the side profile of the scion I really do like the scion's unique design and uh, thumbs up from that um, it's good that the uh, the tower are going to eventually have a update to a unit that's been kind of lingering since just before or just after I started playing I believe this unit came out nah it's even old, younger than that but it's been a long time let's just say that and uh, I, I'm just going to be honest really another edition it's really not at all what we needed so let's go from there and let's get uh, that opinion in there so let's jump on over Hey everybody, welcome to the next part. This would be for Vivian Guard's opinion on it because he actually collects Tempesta. So uh, let's go through them real quick, huh? Alright, so apparently I'm looking at the Tempestor and the Gunfighter. That's like your sergeant. Yeah. Uh, the Gunfighter looks uh, pretty standard to me for the Tempestus, apart from the fact that he is using a pistol, and most of the ones I've got so far, well, two pistols, are carrying, you know, bigger two handed weapons. The Jump Packs. A little funky looking on both of them, but, you know, it is what it is. The sergeant's not too bad. I dig the sword. So do you, do you like the kind of slight re, uh, refinement they've done to the armors and helmets? I don't hate it. I'm not going to lie and say I don't like the older ones a little better, but I don't dislike these. But these They're are, just different. They are jump infantry. Yeah. All right, so we got the uh, gunner and marksman here. Gunner. So the kid on the gunner and marksman are more what I'm used to with the Tempest disguise. Uh... A lot of them, you know, if you don't know, carry like the big glaze guns and, uh, you know, heavy, heavy artillery, like grenade launchers and that kind of they're, thing. They're, uh, they're big on what I remember, uh, hot shot las yeah, rifles. Yeah, hot shot las guns and grenade launchers are like their big thing. All right, the so, next set. So, this kind of falls in. I really like the grenader. The precursor? Kind of neat. Looks like a, uh, looks like a female model, actually. I think they're probably going to have female head options. Yeah, um... So you got you don't see female Tempestus too often, usually because Tempestus don't take their fucking helmets off for any reason. So yeah. I'm gonna call this one while it's kind of neat, kind of an oddity, because it's always been a standard thing that Tempestus don't remove their helmets. But sure, whatever, I can re-roll with it. Now, the Grenadier, I'm I like the model on one hand because yeah, he's covered in grenades, which is funny. I don't know if I'm digging that fucking helmet. I think they wanted it to look different. I kind of like it, but I also like the idea that these guys will look a little bit more like inquisitorial troops. So. Yeah, I guess that might work for that case. So, not my favorite one in the kit, but it's not awful. All right, let's move on next to the troopers. Troopers. Well, the troopers literally look like standard Tempestus with jump packs on them, so I can't say they did wrong with here. I'm not sure... About the pose on the first guy. Knowing what I know about miniatures and bases. That's probably part of the base, right? Yeah, now. Oh, I'm guessing it is. I just I don't like it when both feet aren't on the base. Now, That's do, just a personal thing with me. I do like the hot shot on the guy on the yes, right. Yes, All I right, do. so 
I think the next to last. Okay, troopers. Uh, these are some more troopers. So I, I kind of like the design of the weapons. On these. I like the big box yeah. mag. That's kind of nice. And then uh, I think this is a new addition because I don't Servos. remember these. I don't remember seeing these before. Were these guess, automated turrets? I guess this is the um, the thing that's kind of like. Um, Oh god, the Tau have these little like turrets. Oh stations. yeah, the little drone things. So I'm guessing this is where like the, the it's heavy not weapon a terrible idea for a heavy support kind of unit for these guys. Flamer, grenade, yeah, it's got launcher. different options. So I can say that's pretty decent actually. Okay, that so makes sense. overall, what's your opinion of the Tempestus? Overall, I say the Tempestus are pretty decent. Uh, I'm a little off by a, on a couple of the designs, but you also got to remember I'm not. The most supportive of GW recently, but from a guy in my position who has actually collected these guys before, they're pretty decent. A couple of hiccups in the design, but I'd say I like them. All right, and I think that some of that's just because they're they're jump guys. Yeah, uh, and you got to lighten up the armor a bit. But I, I think it's a good direction. Maybe we will see a redesign of the uh, Tempestus kit. That could be good. Maybe. All right. Thanks for joining me. Let's. Uh, we'll be moving on to the next step now. Hey everybody and uh, welcome to the last bit, the vest bit. Um, I'm not a giant Tau fan, even though I did get some of them when they first came out. Um, so I'm not the best person to talk about this. But I'm going to say this. I think the models as a whole, as uh, we, we look at them, are pretty well done. They're definitely a needed upgrade to the old Vespid kits, um, which kind of lingered for a, a good long time at this point. And I got nothing really bad to say about them, uh, though a couple of them, like in the Warriors, have kind of a goofy face going on. They look like they're just really glad to be there. Um, but overall, they're proportioned pretty well. They're fairly dynamic. They're very orangey yellow, which is kind of nice. Um, I think it's nice to see that this unit's getting a uh, revamp. So, for the Tau players, uh, let me know if this is a good upgrade or a, a bad one. Um, will we be seeing them in your armies? Yada yada. So, um, I'm just going to top it off and say this. Um, it has been ridiculous, the pace of additions recently. It just feels like every time you turn around, there's a new edition of that game and this game. And I go, is this a sustainable model? And I don't think it is. I think there needs to be a slowdown and a bit of a reconsolidation and I am working on a video talking about how I think restraint needs to be brought into these things and I'm not even going to talk about the the various different uh, bits that show up in this box or any of that because you're going to make up your own mind it either be you don't need terrain the terrain looks fine or eh I don't care give me x model or y model um I think we just kind of entered into just too much in terms of turnout of models and things. And Games Workshop shows absolutely no sign of deciding or even thinking about slowing down their production. Which I'm pretty sure is going to mean as time goes on, uh, I think the next line that will be hit with... Um, an ending of a lot of uh, models is going to be the Prima Primaris side of the Space Marines. I think a lot of the first generation uh, Primaris are going to get hit with it because I don't think they're that good of sellers. And I think Games Workshop just will want to get them off and be like, no, get rid of the guy in the, the blow up sumo suit and the dip wad with the jet pack and two heavy bolters. And they'll just move on from there. But I think we're going to see some more lines getting called in the near future. So, you know, prepare yourself. Buy the things that you are most interested in. But man, is anyone else at a point where we're just beyond fatigued with this never-ending uh, barrage of addition after addition? If so, hey, let me know. Give me a comment in the bottom and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.